Come on, Junkie Joe. Yay, he's loaded. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I was a little delayed. I have a, uh, a what do you call it? A bot, a robot, a computer program that does our chat. And he was a little slow today loading. It was like he was on vacation. 
Robin said he must be uh, uh, on strike. <laughs> hey, Angelica. I said hi to a lot of people. Janice, hello. Christy, Angelica, Kim, uh, Christy again. The other Christy, uh, isn't there three Christies here today? Uh, Manda Don, hello. And Bonnie and Tina and Robin. Carrie Ann at Norella of Calico Collage. And Junkie Joe finally got loaded. <laughs> so if y'all didn't know, Junkie Joe is a a bot he helps me by awarding those of you that watch live junk bucks so while you're here you earn junk bucks you also earn junk bucks when you make a donation and then there's an in chat game that you can play it costs you 10 junk bucks and again you don't pay to get junk bucks those are given to you for free and you could win a bunch of junk bucks kind of depends on the the game we're playing one right now it looks like they're starting it up um let's see check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks you know what when you get to 2,000 junk bucks you can type award exclamation point award and you can get a ten dollar coupon to my shop let's keep the chat upbeat and friendly and helpful if you have any questions go ahead and type that out in all cap letters if i don't see it please accept my apology it goes pretty quick i'm trying to look down at what i'm doing and then look up at the chat so sometimes i miss it so ask again robin is my official note taker she will look at it and sh if it isn't get answered now we'll answer it later if you're looking for something to do with my shop meeting an order you need to place an order you need special assistance do contact me through my shop use the contact form it's at the top just hit contact and you're going to type in your email address if you make a donation today you will get a chance to win a journal that i have picked out and i'll give you another option in a moment you also for making that donation get a youtube donator membership to my website which entitles you to some of my free digital downloads that i offer as well as a discount on orders i've had a couple of snafus with a couple of people's uh membership and i think i have fixed it so if you're one of those that you've gone in it was acting weird try again and see if it works when you win a prize if you're not already one of my fans or followers that's got a account on my website please create an account you're just going to go to lindaisrael.com click on account and it's going to ask you for your name your email address your mailing address etc and then use the contact me form to let me know hey linda i want a prize my email is this my youtube username is this and then i can get it all connected together right at, what else um let me change oh okay gotcha kathy well glad you're here so i'm going to change the camera view and manda dawn thank you so much for your donation i greatly appreciate it sorry there the dancing sheep didn't come through this time but thank you thank you thank you i greatly appreciate it so here's what we're going to do for the raffle today i am going to give you a choice that you can get this little journal that i have here or you can have one of my uh, subscription boxes. You can have either, let's see, I think I have some of the uh, Punked Out Steam left, and then I have a few left of the Sew Artsy kits. Or you can have this finished journal. If I get donations of $30 or more, then that's what we'll do at the end for the donations uh, raffle. So this is a smaller journal. I think it is, I'm trying to remember if that was, it is about five inches by six and a quarter. It's got a, um, her donation was $4.44, Robin. Um, it's got a watercolor heavy cover. And I've kind of given a hidden pocket where I didn't glue this all the way down so you could stick stuff in there. There's a pocket inside. Um, this was using one of the Sweet Elegance images. And I had a lot of leftover bits and pieces back when I made these journals. I made several of them. And I was trying to use up things. Uh, I think part of it was this piece of paper was the basis of it. And then I had some of the printed kit. And I thought, well... 
I had these for sale for a little while. I took them to a couple of uh, sh little shops here in Oklahoma and they closed the shop so I went and picked up all my stuff. So I thought, well, I'll just offer it to you as my loyal, fabulous, wonderful fans. So just let me know what you would like to do, okay? Get your classes on, Michelle. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hey, Sandra. Nancy, hey, Nancy. Who else was out there? Kathy Lake, good to see you, good to see you. <laughs> welcome, oh, Melody. Hi, Melody, welcome, and Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, this is gonna be the choice at the end. Those of you who donate today, any dollar amount is welcomed. I'm just looking for a goal of $30 by the end of the live stream, and I will give away either a one of these journals, or if you want one of the subscription boxes, we can do that, okay? All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Monday, I will be live, and I will be working with the Autumn Breeze digital download. It's a smaller digital download from Calico Collage. She just put it out. Uh, I think it's been about maybe a week now, maybe two weeks at the most. Yay! Glad, Michelle. Now you can see. <laughs> uh, thank you, Carrie Ann, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so I decided, I uh, talked to her for a few minutes. She said, what, you know, what do you want me to do next? And she's like, well, I just came out with Autumn Breeze. So I went ahead and printed it out. Um, I decided to print it on my home printer, I'm using an inkjet printer. I'm on the Instant Ink program from Hewlett Packard. And the cover I printed on a linen cardstock. I think you call it, I think it's 80 pounds cardstock. Thank you, Kathy, for your donation. So it's not super thick. Um, and I like the texture that you get from the linen cardstock. So that's going to be the cover. It's got beautiful fall images and then I grabbed a few of the images for the download I did repeat some of them because it's got eight pages that you can print and I think it's four um, fussy cut items you can print thank you uh, Kim for your donation thank you thank you thank you so you can kind of see that um, I don't Norella are you still here why don't you share the link to this download so everybody can look at it. Aren't the autumn colors wonderful? So that's what I'll be working on Monday. So I thought, well, today I want to mix a few mixed media things that we can use with this kit. And I've also made some new um, samples for y'all. Oh, thank you, Sherry, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Streamlabs. See, I think Streamlabs is is really slow today because Junkie Joe did not want to load, and Junkie Lo Joe is part of Streamlabs. Um, Bonnie, I store both. I have them on their sides in a drawer in one area, and then I have them up standing up. I can show you. Let me get my camera. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, I want to change the camera for you. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see back here in the corner. Those are some of my tattered angels that are standing up. And then this drawer has what I call my, my neutral colors, the colors that are like the browns and the uh, pearl and black and you know like a walnut gold they weren't necessarily colors then on the shelf back here i have them by like red pinks at the bottom the greens all the way to the teal blues and then i've got my yellows and purples uh, up higher so that's how i store mine um, i also store them when i'm traveling back and forth to my workshops they get put in Ziploc bags that I know that I want to take for that workshop. That way I don't forget them because <laughs> I have a tendency to do that. And then on my desk, I store mine. I have a little basket here. So when I know the colors that I want to work on for a project, these are all from the So Artsy kit. And I put them all in a little thing so I know that when I grab from here it's for the so artsy kit and today I just grabbed a few extra colors on my desk and I thought I would kind of spray some cool stuff here 
Yeah, I have a lot of tattered angels. I have a lot. Thank you so much, Christy. So this, it, it may be hard to see because I used um, Sugared Silver was the tattered angels name. I didn't use, I know Robin wanted me to use one of the new colors I added to the shop. Well, I only bought so many and I forgot to buy an extra one so I could use it. And I'm, I'm cheap because I don't want to use the product if I have something else that's closer to it. <laughs> so this is Sugared Silver, which will be a lighter color than and the tarnished silver and the graphite that's in my shop so that's what I did with the ghost and here's the ghost design and then here it is with the reverse where I mopped up from the stencil Isn't that cool I think it's really cute let's see I'm trying to check check the chat if you need anything I do have a lot of stuff Angelica <laughs> This is my bat stencil. So here is what it looks like when you spray through the stencil. I used a little bit of It's Black and Halloween Orange. So there's a little bit of a, a golden glimmer every once in a while on the bat. So that's going through the stencil. And then this was mopping up from the stencil. Isn't that kind of an eerie background? Wouldn't that be great for Halloween? This is... I don't want to confuse y'all, so let me do this properly. Okay, so this is my pumpkin stencil. I sprayed it with Tattered Angels. I used a little bit of the Halloween orange and Blarney. I think that's right. Yeah, Blarney. And so you may not be able to see it, but it's orange with a green glowy tint to it. And this is what it looks like when you mop it up. And then what I did was I laid the stencil down and I used the blending tools that I showed you on Monday with some Distress inks and inked that up. And then I was able, you know, to clean that up and just kind of make it a little distressed background. I just thought that'd be kind of fun. Well, I'll see if it key if you're if you're still having issues, go ahead and refresh and see if that helps. I don't know if she can hear me. She said she can't see me, but she can she can see the chat. What did Bonnie ask? Bonnie, we're up, Bonnie. You may need to refresh. Okay. I thought what I would do to start with was play with these stencils just a little bit. Um, just for a minute, I'm going to play with this one because I want to see what it looks like when I use the blending brush. And what color should I use? Do we want to use a brown, a crushed olive? Oh, thank you so much, Norella. Thank you, Robin, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so, so sweet. The um, Tattered Angels, the Tattered Angels, I sell in my website. I sell those in my website. Is that what you mean, Michelle? And I sell the... Um, stencils in my website. I designed them and, and actually we have a new machine. It's a laser that cuts them. Thank you, Elsie, for your donation. Uh, let Bonnie know to for her to reload. Okay. All right. So I don't know what color. Oh, wait. Maybe maybe the sky blue. It's kind of a, a pale blue. So I'm just rubbing this little brush that I got off at Amazon. I shared the link last week. If y'all want it again, I'll get it and uh, share it again here in just a moment. And I'm just going to rub it over the stencil. It's a real soft touch. If you want more color, just add more color. You can be real heavy handed with it if you want, or you can be real light with it. They were showing you how to make blended backgrounds. And I thought it might look neat for those of you that don't have the Tattered Angels or maybe the Tattered Angels is too expensive to ship to you. The stencils are a lot less expensive for shipping and you can pick up one of these blending brushes wherever you're located 
and see how it, it looks using the blending brush. I'm adding a little bit more on some of them. I'm just holding it down with my hand. I could use some washi tape to hold it in place. Um, it depends on how much time you're going to spend on it. If you're going to spend a lot of time on it, I would put some washi tape down. I was lazy today, so I didn't put washi tape down. Okay. Yeah, okay, you can see, but you can't hear. Uh, oh, keep refreshing. I guess YouTube is being a pain, and the Streamlabs was going really slow today. It's like, good grief, y'all. See how this comes out. You can keep blending and blending, and it gets darker as you work. This is kind of cool. It's a little bit of work, though. I think if I didn't have to um, hold it down, it wouldn't feel such a, a strain on my hands. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, that looks cool. Can you see that? Working here. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Deborah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Oh, wow. We got the goal for the uh, journal or the kit giveaway raffle has been met. So, yay, thank you. And I guess Streamlabs for donation may not be working. So, I do understand whatever way you want to donate, you can. And you'll be entered into, at the end, the um, raffle. Yeah, it's got a true ghostly effect, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? They, you know, especially kind of where it's darker in some areas and lighter in others. You like my funny ghosts? I was trying to find um, images that could inspire me to make a ghost. And so I was just scrolling through the internet. I was kind of looking. I'm like, well, if I do a ghost stencil, it can't have a face because it's too hard to connect the pieces. I would have to make sure that each ghost was touching each other. And so I was like, well, what do I do? What do I do? And then I started looking at silhouettes. It's like, okay, I think I can do this. The color I use is Stormy, let me see if it'll focus, Stormy Sky. Stormy Sky. You like that? Okay, I just thought that would be kind of fun. So, let's see what else we've got here. I've got the new... Um, I know y'all never got to see it because I forgot to put it up there, but these are the August Stencil Club. This is the next one. I, I thought it'd be kind of fun to have some neat shapes. There's the next. The Stencil Club has um, four stencils. You get two that are five and a half by eight and a half, and then you get two that are eight and a half by 11. And I was thinking, we're gonna do fall colors. These are, um, these are my other stencils. This is September's. The September's all about circles. Oh, this one didn't get cleaned out. Well, y'all get the gist of. These are the prototypes. It's about circles. And I thought it'd just be kind of fun to have some cool um, shapes this time around. So let's see what we can do here. I've got the leaf stencil. I think I may want to do... I don't want to do the distress inks again because that just makes my arm tired. <laughs> so I'm going to set that aside and let's do something with this oak leaf. I want to make a few pages to put in the journal on Monday. So I thought I'd just grab a few pieces of paper. And let's see here. I think I'm going to do just the traditional where I spray through and mop up. 
So I've got a few colors of Tattered Angels laid out here, and I just remembered I want to get one more color. Um, I got a little bit of a, a red. Okay. Robot Love! The, oh, thank you, Jen, for your donation. Thank you very much. Uh, at the end, you can choose between this little journal or the uh, one of the Punked Out Steam subscription box or the So Artsy subscription box. Yeah, your August will ship out today, Polly. After, well... Once I get done with the live stream, I'll be doing the orders today. And so they'll either go out tonight or in the morning. And your other order, too. Thank you, Deborah, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Okay, so I thought I've got a red, I've got a green, and I've got an orange. Not a, yeah, here it is. I picked up the wrong one. An orange. So we're going to, why is my screen looking so weird? Okay, there it goes. Um, my screen was weird on my end. I was like, I can't have that. So hopefully this isn't clogged. So let me see if it spray. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'll spray a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And you really want a very fine point needle if it's clogged. Mine's not very fine point. So I'm just going to kind of poke it in there. And sometimes that cleans it out and let's see if that'll work if not I'll go get a I need to go get a new sprayer <clears throat> and now, here let's do this just swap out sprayers okay Oh, yeah, yeah, if you had a sea sponge, for sure, Michelle, that would be great to use that. Yeah, if you want it all together, Christy, just place your other order. Okay, so, oh, and I think I may do that. I That had a little bit of yellow in it. So I'm just kind of spritzing the whole page. And I'm going ahead and letting it get on the plastic as well because um, we're going to mop up. So we're going to get an interesting background. I'm adding a little bit of yellow. So I use the Sun Sisters, Red Chilies, Blarney, and Halloween Orange. And I'm going to grab another sheet of paper and lay this on top and then let that soak it up. And then what I like to do is go ahead and spritz just a little bit on the back. Hey, Sophia! Hello! I like to spray the back just a little bit so that if you wanted to use this as a page, you don't have to do anything else to that page. So here's what it looks like. Angelica loves it. Mop-up pages. Isn't that gorgeous? By mixing those colors. If I wanted, I could have concentrated a little bit more of a variegate variation, you know, not just random. And then here it is, just on the white background. And I'm going to flip this over and go ahead and spritz the back with the green and a little bit of the yellow. You like that? Thank you. So that'll, that'll be two pages that I may or may not use Monday, but I'll have those as an option. So I've got a maple leaf stencil. So I'm going to get some more paper out. And then this time I'm going to try to concentrate how I do the page. So I think I'm going to go from, from here to here. So I'm just going to spritz the, let me do it differently. I want to do the red first. All right. Then I've got the orange. Okay. Then I'm going to do a little bit of the yellow. 
Actually, I think that's all I'm going to do. All right. And then I'm going to grab another sheet of paper and mop up. And I'm gonna spritz the back side. Let's do let's do the orange and the yellow. Okay, you ready? And then this is what it looks like. What do you think? Do you like it? Payday needs to hurry up. <laughs> oh dear. And, and remember, if you donated, then you get added to a discount group in my shop so you get my uh, stencils at a discount and then here's what it looks like once you lift the stencil do you like that i like that that's that's going to be good that's going to be a good one i'm going to spritz the back again all right so do i need to more mop up pages <laughs> you like that thank you thank you so much just by changing the color as you go up the page. Now you can also do the same technique using the blending brushes, blend down here, change colors, blend up here, change colors, blend up there, and so on. And remember when you're doing that, you want to start with the lightest color first. So you're going to do the blending of the first light color and then get darker as you come down. Otherwise it's harder to clean up as you go. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. You like it? You like it? Yay! Okay. Um, so we did, I showed you how to use the blending tool. I've shown you how to use Tattered Angels. Um, are y'all ready to do some paint? Some acrylic paint? And maybe we'll use some of the new stencils, okay? You're not liking Junkie Joe. Is he being mean to you? <laughs> well, you know, Raven, you did win like a journal like a way ago. I, yeah, I didn't use the spray box. I had, uh, I put down a paper sack so that I didn't have to keep moving the box out of the way. And the paper sack soaks up the tattered angels where if I was spraying on my mixed media mat, it would pool up. So I thought, well, I'll just lay a, a piece of uh, paper down, and then that way I can keep using it until it's just so covered in gunk that I give it away to one of my friends. In fact, you can't really see it probably, but right here, that's Tattered Angels that's on there. It's kind of dry, thankfully, but sometimes it doesn't dry very fast. All right, so let's move the Tattered Angels back. Back, I say, back. And... I think what I want to do is, I've got some book pages here. I just pick up a cheap book. I will sometimes go to like Dollar Tree or Dollar Store and pick up a book. And I do it based off of the size of the book. I found that I prefer the larger books because if you can find a book that is nine inches by six inches you can in theory use two of these side by side to make a journal page if you want um or i've you know scanned them in because i like the design and uh, blown it up onto an eight and a half by eleven and printed it so that's kind of why i picked this size um what i thought i would do is we're going to use some of the stencils again and i want to kind of cover up this back portion. So I think I'm gonna grab a few colors here. I've got some a red and a yellow and an orange. And I think what I'm gonna do is the background, I'm gonna make a gold color. So I'm gonna paint a couple of pieces of paper. I'm just putting a little bit of paint directly onto the paper. You could put it in a palette. And I'm gonna go all over this piece of paper. And I'm thinking that I want a little bit more paint because I really don't want to see what it says. I want the hint of text, but you don't quite understand what it says, if that makes any sense. So I'm 
being a little bit what I call heavier handed and I'm putting a little bit more on there than necessary. I'm going to grab another piece of paper because I still have paint on my card and I'm just going to basically kind of scrape off the excess. If you do thin coats, it dries relatively quickly. I'm going to set this aside. Let me move. Oh yeah, and I've got Monday I'll be at have some new stamps in the shop too, y'all. Um like these leaves and these leaves. I forgot about showing y'all those. I like this branch and those trees. So these will be in the shop uh, Monday. I got to work on them this weekend. All right, so I've got this. I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to pick this up and put it on my table beside me so it can kind of dry because I want to do a couple more. Um, and then that way, when I'm getting ready to use it, it's ready to go. I think I may... I think I may mix some colors here in a moment. This is one of those techniques that anybody can do. You can spread a little bit of paint onto a piece of paper using a, like a credit card, you know, a, a gift card or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry, Elsie, that you're having bad reception. Go hang out at um, uh, Starbucks in their Wi-Fi. Okay, Robin, it's time for the raffle, and I didn't mention this earlier. I have a free raffle, type exclamation point raffle, and I'm going to draw. The first person that I draw, they're going to get 200 junk bucks added to their account, which gets you closer to getting 2,000 junk bucks and a $10 coupon to my shop. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off. All right, I think what I wanted to do is, I'm gonna put this on here and we're gonna paint through the stencil all right, is everybody in the raffle? I'm going to get a drink. Y'all entered the raffle. All right, so last week during the live stream, I made these journal cards. So there's one and two and three and four. So that's going to be our next raffle. I'm going to give away this set of journal cards that I made last week. Once I pick the winner of the current raffle. Y'all ready? I think everybody's in now. Oh, Mary started a boss fight. Hey, Mary, I've sent you an email. You might want to uh, see and message me back. You like the red and gold, Angelica, don't you? All right, well, we're going to pick the winner of the 200 junk bucks. And that winner is, are y'all ready? Kathy Lake. Kathy, you've won 200 junk bucks. I'll add that to your account. If you're really close, just say I would like to it sooner rather than tomorrow. <laughs> and I will get it added before the stream is up. All right, so the next raffle is for the red and gold journal cards. So this is the next giveaway. So go ahead and enter the raffle. Whoop, whoop. Enter the raffle. Congratulations, Kathy. Okay. So now I've got the maple leaf stencil. I've got my palette here. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of red and kind of well, this may be an old, maybe old. We may not be using it. Oh yeah, that's gross. Blech. Okay, it's going in the trash. It's not worth it. <laughs> I'm trying to use up some old, old paint. My mom had given me some paint and I had some paint. I thought, you know, I should probably use some of this. I'm going to use a, it's called pumpkin. 
I think that'll be good. I could put just a... Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you very much. I'm going to put just a small amount of a... What is this? I think it's a chocolate fudge is the color. So I'm just going to put a little bit. And what I've got here is one of the um, Tim Holtz blending tools with one of the sponges on it. It's dry. And I'm going to tap it into the paint just a little bit and kind of rotate it around. And I'm going, just because I keep saying it, why don't I do it? I'm going to put some washi tape down. And then I don't have to hold it so tight. That's a lot easier. So now I can just kind of concentrate on adding the color. So I'm just kind of tapping it just a little bit onto the page. Since this is a, a what I call a landscape uh, stencil, but at the same time it's not directional because I tossed the leaves if you will, they're going in different directions. This is going to be a fun one that you can use on a full 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper or smaller pieces of paper to give it a, a different look, you know. Well, the piece of paper underneath moved. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, you ready for the big reveal? All right, let's move the washi tape. We can save it and use it again. All right, then I'm just gonna take this and I could lay it on top of another piece of paper, but it's already dry here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my little dill of water over to the side. So what do you think? Bye, Norella, thanks for coming in. Oh yeah, Norella's having a sale on her shop right now. So do check out Norella of Calico Collage. She's having a 30% off sale right now. Ooh, oh nice, Christy. That'll be a wonderful dinner. You'll love it. Thank you, Norella. Thank you, thank you. I think it's kind of fun. And let's do it with the oak leaves on the other piece, which is still really wet. So I need to dry it with my heat tool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that stencil. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun to use. It'd be perfect for your fall. Thank you, Sherry. Oh, you're getting one. Henry cut them for me, so I've got them all set aside. i got to work on orders tonight and get it all packaged. No, I am not trying to kick you out. I thought you were leaving. I thought I heard somebody say bye, Norella. Okay, I'm not kicking you out. I'm so tickle pink that you're here. You usually have to run off. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Come on, dry piece of paper, dry. I put a lot of paint on this one. A lot of paint. It's sticky. See, it's sticky still. <laughs> no, Norella needs to move closer to me. So we can we can hang out more. When the cost of living is cheaper. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Alright, so this is the oak leaves one. I still have the paint over here. I'm going to use the same colors. Oh, I'm going to also, um, let's see. Yeah, I'll do this. If I get it a little closer, maybe it won't move around on me as much. Maybe. I may need to do a secondary one over here. Okay, that's not going to move now. <laughs> Uh, 
Did I say heard? I meant I saw someone say, and I thought they were saying bye, Norella. That's what happens. See, I'm I'm too busy in my own little thing. I can't keep up with all the chat. Oh, it moved on me again. I may have to tape it down. I'm using a little bit more of the brown this time. It'll be a little bit darker, I think. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Peel that up. Peel it up. Peel it up. Because I don't want that on the, when I put it in the water. All right. The big reveal. Stick the stencil in the water. Oh, that looks cool. It's, it's darker browns this time. And then what I can do is when it dries, I can, or even now, oh man, I can uh, spray it with some Tattered Angels and give it some sparkle on top of that. Let me see if I've got, I think, Dazzling, where is, where's my Dazzling Diamonds? Pearl, let's be down here. Well, where is it? It's hiding. All right, we'll just use a iridescent. I think it says silver, but I'm not sure. Oh wait, this one has a gold in it. Let's do this one. Thank you, Elsie. Yay! Awesome! Christy, I'm glad you got them all. I'm just spraying over the top of that. So that's going to give it some shimmer. I'm going to spray the other one as well. And I'll set these aside to dry. Those will be pretty. And I think I'm going to scan these into my computer so that I can have them as full pages. And then I can use the smaller pages to make pockets or something in the journal. Oh, Jen B, you got your $10 coupon. Woo, woo, congratulations. Congratulations. All right, so let's do, we've got this mess of color here. I'm gonna clean off my dauber. It's a good way to get a whole nother background. So that's probably all I'm going to get out of it. So now I'm going to take my little dauber and I've got some water over here to the side in a cake pan that's big enough for my stencils. And I'm just kind of pouncing it in that water. And then I've got at the end of my pan a rolled up towel. So now I'm just kind of daubing it into the towel to kind of clean off any paint. Oh, I just peeled it off. So I'm just daubing that off. So this will be cleaner now. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to grab another sheet of paper here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a card and dip it into this paint that's on my palette and coat a few pieces of paper. So we're going to get a whole different look than what we did with the solids. Now the key is you don't want to over mix your paint. If you'll notice I've got a, a few areas that's got that darker brown. If you keep mixing it then it kind of turns to mud. But if you just kind of swipe it across and don't try to keep going back over it a bazillion times with a lot of paint it'll come out pretty cool. It'll give you some a neat color texture. 
You need to take. I, I did, Cherry. Yours has the coupon on it. Yeah, I did. It had a coupon. Oh, I need to remove it from your here. I see what you're saying. Gotcha. So you're saying I need to remove, because you had 2,000 junk bucks and we were doing it offline. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> Thank you for being honest and reminding me, because I would have forgotten. All right, I'm going to do a couple more. All right, Robin, remi remind me when I do the next raffle. I'm, I'm getting in my own head here, so I don't know what time it is. <laughs> the, what I like about painting papers like this is there's really no rules per se other than don't over mix um, if possible don't use more than three colors at a time because it can just kind of turn to mud you know use colors that look well if you were to wear them you know or lay them out side by side and then just play you know you don't have to um spend a lot of time on it you just cover that piece of paper pretty quick and i'm doing it like this because i want to come back and use the stencil and that way this is all ready as a foundation for me i can do it direct onto thank you robin um thanks for the new subscriber welcome mary crochet um yeah thank you um you know, then, then I can come back and stencil on top of it. I'm not waiting for the paint to dry in between each one. I've got a little stack. And I, I know the camera color is not giving this any justice because it looks so orangey with the yellow. But there's a lot of dark in here as well. Thank you, Polly, for your donation. So I'm going to make a couple more. And then we're going to grab some of our... I'll grab some of the August stencils and the... September stencils and do some designs. I hate wasting paint, you know, when it's in my palette like this. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and put it on and make it a, a different background. Set this one aside. I think if I do one more, then the first one will be dry, and then we can start adding stencil designs, and we'll have four pages that we can use. I'm trying to use all the paint. All right, I think I got it all. So I'm really, you know, making sure it's wiped off of my card and then I'm going to dip it in the water to the side and then I'll wipe it off. Raffle! You can still join the raffle at the end by making a donation for the journal or the subscription box item. I'll be giving away a journal or the punked out steam or the so artsy subscription box all right i think the first one i made is dry and i'm going to wipe away some of that paint okay and what stencil do i want to use first right <clears throat> Oh, I think I want this one. This is the August Stencil Club. Artistic Stencil Club. So if you order today, you can get the August set. Or if you want the September set, you just tell me in the order. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tape this down. I gotta make sure that I have an end that I can grab or it's harder to pull up. Okay. We got any questions? 
Y'all doing okay? Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you so much. All right, so this time we've got a darker background. Let's go with, I'm going to get a little bit of gold. And there's a little bit of orange still on the palette here. So I'm going to grab a different shade. This is pumpkin. Maybe the same shade. Ooh. And put them side by side. So it's going to be a, a golden pumpkin color. I'm going to use the little dauber and pick up some of that paint. Ah, come on. It's not sticking today. All right, I got to get a new one. Uh, let me see if this will work. Did this work? Yeah. All right, so I got some paint here, and we're just going to go in here and daub it on top. Well, I guess this dauber, the uh, Velcro, is coming off. All right, so I'm just kind of going across here. Of course, I've been using this same dauber for how many months that I've been showing y'all? <laughs> I haven't replaced it yet. I've been using the same one. Someone was complaining that these are expensive, and I was like, well, I've been using the same one for months, and I just wash it out. Now, I do have um, other daubers that I use with the ink pads, and instead of washing those out, I went ahead and just purchased dedicated daubers for each color so I didn't have to stop and take the time to clean out the sponges. Okay, let's see how this looks, right? Okay. With that orange on the red. Oh yeah, what do you think? Isn't that kind of cool? Especially with the backgrounds, you know, changing just a little bit. You're loving the fall colors. Thank you, Kendia. I'm doing the um, Autumn Breeze on Monday by Calico Collage. So I wanted a few pages that I made that I could put with it. So that's why I went ahead and said, let's, let's do some mixed media stuff today. All right, so this one is some flowers. And I think we'll do the same color technique that we just did. So I'm going to glue the, or glue it down. Tape it down. Tape it down. Like so. If you haven't entered the raffle, please do so. I am giving away... The journal cards that I made at the live stream last week. There are four little journal cards. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. You're ready for autumn. You got a storm approaching for you, Elsa. That may be why you're having slower internet. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the fall. I'm going to be doing some work in my garden. I plan on moving all my irises. Um, now that I kind of know, because I've been home, where the plants get more sun than the other side and whatnot. And I've got an area in my yard that is just not, it's not that pretty. And it's between our neighbor and us on the north side of us. And I think I'm going to make a, a new bed in this area that the grass doesn't grow very well. Hoping that the irises would like that area a lot better. I don't know. That's my plan this fall. And I will be on vacation in September I think it's like the last week of September. No, it's not the last week. It's the middle of the September. And um, I will be away for a week. I may have some recorded videos 
that I share while I'm gone. But I just wanted y'all to know that I'll be gone. I'm kind of excited about it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. And we're going to put the stencil in the water. Ooh, that's cool. You see that texture with the gold? That gold would pop that. Isn't it pretty? It's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, that pop of metal. Well, I did a little bit of gold in that. So there's some metallic in that one. Yeah, and Robin's on vacation too coming soon. So we're going to be busy people. All right. I need Let's see what I've got here. Ha! That'll work. My little uh pad, this the backing is gone. I just figured out from my sponge, so it was coming loose on me. So I just grabbed, threw that one away and got me new one. Alright, I like that. All right, we got another. So I will I add more gold paint this time. So what do we have here? No, I don't want to do that one. I think I'm going to do the circles. This is kind of a weird. This is part of the September set. I don't know. I just wanted some weird shapes, if you will. So I'm going to grab some more gold. And we're going to do more gold than we do the orange, okay, this time. So I'm kind of adding that color in. All right, I'll start, we'll start like this. What is your favorite thing for fall and autumn? What do you like to do? One, okay, thank you, Mary. I will fix it. I thought so, but I thought I'd better ask just in case. All right. It looks golden. Yeah, this one is gold. This is very gold. It was just a touch of orange. Okay. Yeah, Angelica got to go on a really nice vacation. She was in Spain. Weren't you gone for a month, Angelica? I was like, wow, that would be amazing. One of these days, I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> go travel somewhere for a month. That would be like all the things you could see while you were there. That would be amazing. All right, here is this weird circle stencil that I made. I like it. Oh, it lifted the paint just a little bit. What do you think? Is it kind of weird? You you want the fall? You want it as a bundle, Elsie? Okay. What do you think of that? More active during the fall than the summer? Probably because it's a lot cooler. You can get to go sit outside. Yeah, enjoying that cooler weather for sure. All right, I've got one more that we painted earlier. Thank you, Carrie Ann. You like it? Thank you. All right, so this one, it's still a little wet. Oh, I just smeared paint all over it. Let's dry it for sure. And I got to get the... This is a stencil Henry cut, but sometimes I have to spend a moment to clean them after they get cut. So there's little pieces on here. All right, so we're going to put this down. Oh, miss some. Miss some. All right, get out of the way. All right, that'll work. So this one, it's still got a, a circle type shape in it. I don't know. I was just... 
doodling. I, I will sit and doodle and I'll end up making like four or five designs that closely resemble each other at a time. And then I'll move on and I'll do something else and then I'll wait a few weeks and go in and look at the designs and see what could be used as a cool stencil. And these were some that I had made a few weeks ago. I was like, well, I think, I think these would be kind of cool. I don't know. Hope you like them. The autumn smells. The leaves falling. That mists in the morning, you know. Or it's kind of foggy a little bit. Another color I could add to this is a, a pale blue, um, a green. All right, look at that. Isn't that cool? I like it. It is kind of peacock looking. Yeah, kind of. It's a little different. Squirrel. <laughs> nudge, nudge, poke, poke. Okay, I see, I see. Are you saying you want this stencil because it's brand new? No, you don't have that stencil, Angelica. <laughs> Join the raffle if you haven't already. You don't have... I just made this stencil. I mean, I haven't even uploaded it to my shop yet. I just made it. I like it. All right, so we're going to do the raffle. Hey, Tiger Lily, welcome. Did y'all enter the raffle? Enter the raffle. Enter the raffle. Yeah, you have other stencils. That is the September Stencil Club, the Artistic Stencil Club, Sandra. That's in the September, and I haven't even uploaded it yet. I'll get that done tomorrow, because I'll be working on orders today. I'm putting that gold paint down. I want to see what it looks like. It's a thicker paint. It's more what I call an artist grade paint. And it's very metallic. And I'm putting it on pretty thick because I don't really want to see what the words are. I just want the hint of words. So it'll be a little thicker. All right, is everybody entered in the raffle? All right. You're welcome. Raffle, raffle. I see a couple people. Raffle. Raven got in. Angelica shared the Artistic Stencil Club. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love the way this gold paper. I want just gold paper. Ugh. Kind of cool. I'm going to do another one. All right, y'all ready for that raffle? Okay, Terry got in. Give it, giving y'all a chance. Enter the raffle. Mary got in. Anybody else? I'm let, giving y'all a chance to win these journal cards. Like it. All right. You love all the fall festivals, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes we don't go as much anymore, like fairs, the state fair. There's a lot of crazy people out there now. Okay. All right. Well, let's do the raffle now. And so this person. Um, is getting the four little journal cards. Did y'all see those? These were the cards that I made last week. Okay, so this person will get these four journal cards. That's our next raffle. All right, that gold, isn't it cool? All right, so let's do the giveaway. 
Mary, Mary type exclamation point raffle. Yep, Mary, the other Mary got you. Type exclamation point raffle. I'll give you just a moment. I like the gold. I think I'm going to dry it while I'm waiting on Mary. Come on, Mary, get entered in the raffle. takes 20 seconds for y'all to hear what I say and then by then I forget what I said be like squirrel <laughs> oh dear everybody in the raffle okay I'm gonna do the boss fight with y'all All right, now the winner <laughs> of the giveaway is Mary Milstead. Congratulations, Mary. Mary, if you haven't already created an account on my website, one of the girls or Junkie Joe will be sharing the account to my website. Um, let me, I can even do it, I think. And then once you do that, make sure that you go to the contact and tell me through their message what your YouTube username is and what your name in my shop is. And then I will get you the prize sent out, okay? So thank you so very much. And get your address. All right, so... Her they're going to fight with their Her Hercules boss. So it looks like Sandra Lewis, Nancy, Jen, Giovanna, Bonnie, myself, Mary, uh, Milstead, Barbara, Raven, Michelle. They all got 16 junk bucks. So you can't see your name in the uh, list because it was longer than usual. All right. So our next giveaway... Yay, Mary, congratulations. Make sure you go to my website and create an account with your uh, mailing address and everything so I can send you your prize, okay? All right, so the next giveaway. All right, here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give away um, any stencil that's in my shop. So if it's a stencil that I sell on my shop, it's not a subscription box stencil. It's a stencil that I sell, and the winner gets to pick a stencil of their choice, and I will ship them out. So it's valued between $9.99 and $11.99 in price. So that's going to be our next prize. It's a stencil of choice, and you don't have to tell me right this second, but when you give me your mailing address, uh, for the prize, then you'll need to tell me which stencil that you want, okay? So join the raffle for a free stencil. Um, he can't, the, the field was so large, Angelica, that he couldn't because there's a restriction on how much they can type into the chat box. So when y'all enter a message, it can only be so long and then it truncates. And it can't function. Alright, so now there's a little bit of orange and a little bit of red. So, and I think, I think I'm about ready to start doing some other colors. Like a green and maybe a a brown, another a lighter shade of, yeah, and then, I know this is going to be weird, but a blue, and we'll see what happens anyway, so I'm going to grab these two colors for this page, I may need to add orange to the palette. I don't know. That's kind of cool. It just kind of fades in color. There's a little bit of gold on there. Too. Thank you, Tiger Lily. Thank you so much. Hello. Welcome. Okay. I'm going to set that aside to dry, and then let's grab a couple more. 
All right, so this time I'm going to grab the brown, the green, and the blue at the same time. And there's a little bit of orange still on my palette. Hmm, this isn't my favorite yet. You know, sometimes they come out as mud, you know? I think my colors were too close together. But adding a little bit of blue on top kind of softened that up. Okay, maybe I'll change how I do that next time. So it's got a little bit of blue in there. Those darker skies. All right, so this time I'm going to do the brown and the green. So I just did the brown and the green over that. So now I'm just going to pick up some of that blue and swipe it over. So it's a little bit more on top. Yeah, if I do the that's what I'm going to that's what I'm trying to do is get the background ready so once it's dry I can add a stencil to the top of it. All right, so we're going to let that dry. I'm going to do a couple more using up some of this paint that I have in my palette. There's a little bit of gold on here. I think I'm going to add some more gold to the palette because it's interesting when it pops up. little card and this time I've got a lot of gold on the palette so we're gonna have a little bit of that metallic in the background darker colors Mary won the journal cards today so this has got more metallic in it all right let's do a couple more I've got I still have paint I still have paint on the palette and I didn't even put the blue on top of that one maybe I will This time I don't have the gold. I have mostly the green and the brown. And now we're going to do just a touch of blue. Okay. All right. Now come back Monday and I'll be doing a, a junk journal live. We'll make a junk journal and we'll share tips and ideas and whatnot. Okay. I think. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to um I need to clean my stencils off really fast because I want to use the leaf stencils and they are in the water bath over here so i'm just going to lay them out i'm grabbing another towel that has been on the floor apparently because it's dirty and i'm just going to pat i'm not worried about the paint on the stencil um if you keep the uh, layer relatively thin then you won't have too much of a buildup but you can always soak them a little bit longer I didn't get it completely submerged in my water bath and so that's why there's a little bit of paint on top 
Never miss a live. And I appreciate that, Christy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Join the raffle. Oh, cool. You got a little tiny box for your words. Yay. Now, it cleans up pretty quick. I mean, I just put them in the water over here and and then I just take my a towel and kind of wipe it up. Yeah, don't forget your echo dye and stuff. So you can see, I mean, there's a little bit still on there, but it won't hurt anything. Not a lot. Okay. We're doing the raffle, right? We got the raffle going. Did y'all enter the raffle? This person gets to pick what stencil they want. All right, we're going to pull out one of these first ones that we made earlier. I still have a lot of paint on my palette, so I'm going to grab a big sheet of paper and try to use up as much of this as I can so I can change out the paint because I feel bad if I throw away paint even though it's so cheap. <laughs> Because I don't spend a lot of money on it. We usually wait what it goes on sale. When you can get little bottles for less than 70 cents. Okay. Still got some left on here. I'll we'll put that over here. Grab another. Paint and papers. Just to paint and papers. I know it's kind of boring. <laughs> My thought got lonely and left. Okay. Now my paint palette is clean. Oh, cool. Are they Angelica? Are they good? Did you do good? Depends on what kind of art supplies you want, Kathy. Um, you know, for example, stencils I sell in my shop. And Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist I sell in my shop. I have... Um, journal kits that you can purchase in my shop. Yeah, if you these right here, I can get them uh, for seventy cents when they're and probably cheaper when they're on sale. All right, I think that's almost dry. Let me dry it, and then let's use some stencils. Walmart has paint. Hobby Lobby. Yep. Michael's, Joann's, you can shop online with those places as well. So you don't have to go in person if you're unable. Amazon. My shop. Depends on what you're looking for. What's your poison, as they say. Okay, so I've got this bad boy. And I think... Maybe, do we want to do the orange red that we did earlier with a little bit of gold? I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> you love my singing? <laughs> yeah, you can get cheap paint. I have a little bit of everything. Oh, does the dollar, I didn't know that the dollar store had very, I know that there's some like little packages, but I hadn't really looked at it because I get it, you know, through Hobby Lobby generally when it's on sale. Okay. 
All right. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gold. And we're going to do that same technique that we did earlier where we kind of blended those colors. I used brown before, but since the background already has that brown in it, I don't want to add any more. So that's why I didn't choose brown this time. And let's see how this comes out. It'll be should be kind of fiery in a sense because of the gold with that red. Like I said, just red, orange, and gold. Okay. Um, craft paint has more of a chalk feel or it's very matte or dull. And artist grade paint has more of a sheen to it unless you're buying a brand that doesn't but generally this type of acrylic paint the artist grade that comes in a tube like this has a more uh, glossy look to it does that make sense I hope and so I'm mixing that artist grade paint with the um, craft paint when I'm using this gold and what that's doing is bring a little bit of sparkle to the paint without making it all that real shiny look if you will okay so I'm just gonna pick this up and then there's the big reveal I like it on that blue background. Um, Tiger Lily, what you do is you create a user. You go to the link that I have shared for Stream Labs, and when you do, you can say you want to donate, and then you have to create a username and a password and put in your payment information, and it's that easy. It's really quick. I like that. Do you like it? kind of falling down the page with that gray background right craft paint is soft body versus the pro paint being a heavy body paint where like the pro paint is um, thicker it's more opaque this paint is a little bit more transparent unless you buy the more expensive stuff the uh, deco arts really expensive paint that they have I like the way that looked. Okay, so let's see how it would look with this. Oh, wait. Let's do that one. I'll dry it really fast. And the oak leaf stencil. Yeah, Tiger... Oh, thank you for your donation. Sorry, I see it now. Sorry, I didn't see the uh, dancing sheep. So thank you for your donation. Yep, I get it. I see it. Thank you so much for your donation. I wasn't looking when the dancing sheep was up there. Sorry about that. So if I wanted to glue paper to a canvas, what should I use to make it stick? Well, um, I've used matte gel medium. I've used, um, what is that? It's another... Mostly matte gel medium, but I've also used um, Aline's Tacky Glue. Depends on what it is. Some things you have to glue with like E6000. Yeah, thank you so much, Mary, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I've got the oak leaves on here. And we're going to do the same gold with the red, just a different leaf. You're very welcome, and thank you so much for your donation. And don't forget to create a user account on my website so I can give you 
discount on items like the stencil that I'm showing you. If you join the Artistic Stencil Club, any additional stencils that you purchase, you can get for 20% off. I like mixing the paint like this because each leaf is going to be different because it's just the nature of how the paint lands so you're getting that variation across the whole page because here I've got more gold there's more red here in the middle what do you think just kind of went from one side to the other. Clean my stencil off again. You like that? All right. So, do we want to make something? And then we're gonna do the raffle because I want to. I want to scan these in. So let me make. Let me clean my stencils off. And I've got a couple more pieces of paper here. And then I can use one to make a project, some journal cards or something. Now, here you can find cheap stencils, good stencils, not cheap, good stencils. <laughs> good stencils. All right, so let's clean the, uh, let's clean the stencils off. I put them in the water and then that way that paint doesn't build up on there. Thank you, Tiger Lily. You like that shine? It's kind of pretty, isn't it? How they pop. They pop. And I'm glad I used that pale blue. I, this was actually out of paint. So what I did was I took a royal blue and white and just mixed my own <laughs> until it came out the color that I liked. You buy poke poke nudge nudge. Okay. Alright, join the raffle if you haven't already joined it. Join the raffle. Join the raffle. Join the raffle. <laughs> uh, I should start listening to more music before I come on so I have songs for y'all. <laughs> uh, they were listening to, um, who did we hear this morning? We heard Bruno Mars this morning. And. What was another one we heard? I heard Britney Spears and Ariana Grande. <laughs> All right, has everybody entered in the raffle? Okay. Yay, Michelle! I'm glad you're getting some ideas because there's there's so many ways to use them. This is just one. I, I've used them with gel prints as well. I spray through the tattered angels as well. So I'm glad you're here and that you are getting some ideas. Thank you for being here. You know, if you will, uh, if you like this video, share it with your friends. You know, share this link and say, hey, come hang out with us. We have a great time. We chat. Um, I give away prizes and I try to teach y'all some neat techniques and have fun doing it. All right, so it looks like we got a few more people entered into the raffle, and I'm about ready to uh, start it. Ah, so Kathy, if you're painting on a canvas and it's peeling off, you may not have a, a gessoed canvas, and so that's why the paint is peeling off. You may want to get some gesso and put a coat of gesso before you paint. Okay? You're very welcome, Michelle. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, Sandra got in. Okay, I'm ready to do the raffle. Oh, who won? 
Robin won. Whoop, whoop. Robin won the uh, uh, FFA. Good job, Robin. Okay, so let's do the pick the winner for the stencil of choice. So you're going to message me with your mailing address and the stencil that you want that's available in my shop. So I will say pick a winner. Manda Dawn. Manda, pick a stencil. I've got your address. Pick a stencil and tell me which one you want, okay? Congratulations. Great job. Great job. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to make two more pages. Then I'm going to take these two pages and we're going to make some journal cards, okay? So that's probably going to take me another 30 minutes. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do one more free raffle right now? Or do you want me to go ahead and start the raffle for the um, journal and or uh, subscription box item? Now, you're not getting the subscription. You're just getting the box this time. Okay? You're very welcome. Oh, thank you, Kathy. That's so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. All right. So one more free raffle. Okay. <laughs> Robin has spoken. <laughs> uh, all right. Reset. And yes. And let's go with. Um, oh, here we go. These are little file folders. You see the little score mark? I can't remember if there's five or six in there. They're chip, uh, not chipboard, uh, craft cardstock file folders. So that'll be our next prize. That's something that I'm going to start offering in my shop is a few of those. So we're going to do um, craft file folders and open giveaway. So that's our next prize. Oh, Angelica, that was too, you are too slow for mop-up pages. I should have done that. I don't have very many made right now. All right, so we're going to do the gold and red and orange again. And I want to make two more pages. And we're going to make some journal cards. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to put. I think I may have some sayings that we can use that aren't really fall related, but could go, maybe, yeah. Don't move on me. A little more paint than I had intended to get. Okay. But I think... Oh, that looks cool. Coolio! Bye, Mary! Thanks for coming, Mary! Have a good day at work! Join the raffle! Cleaning my hands up just a little bit. I like it. I like the way this looks. I hope y'all do too. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's do that one. And then let's do the oak leaf. Oh, thank you, Lori, for your donation. And Lori, I think I got your YouTube donator fixed on my website. I don't know why, but for some reason, some members, it was putting an expiration date and it's not supposed to. And I've gone in now twice to refresh it and say, no, it's there's no end date on it. There's no end date. So if you're having issues, just leave me a message. Oh, I just stuck my finger in paint. <laughs> All right. Oh, Owl, Christy. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Michelle. You like that page? That was a good one, huh? All right. Well, I won't. Uh, 
I won't cut it up yet. Maybe that's what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll do something else. I got another idea. Idea! Okay. Got the ideas of flowing. There's too many of these that are coming out really cool. <laughs> I've got a few scanned that I need to upload. I haven't got to that yet because I was working on the subscription boxes. Trying to get all that ready. My print stuff finally came late yesterday. So I haven't finished... Um, putting the print with the kit that I make, you know. Yeah, that's cool, too. Oh, sorry, Lori, that your internet kept crashing. My store's lindaisrael.com. I like it. Isn't that cool? I really like how that one turned out. Okay, you're right. These are scan worthy. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I like the way this looks. I've got, I've got another. Okay, let's clean the stencil again. We gotta clean the stencil again. I just gotta, I just gotta do it. Yeah, I, I, I don't want y'all to have to wait on me to go scan it. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a couple more. <laughs> Join the raffle. Ah, right, where's my towel? Mm. My very damp towel. <laughs> Be your friend, Kathy. <laughs> Yeah, I'll scan them in. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make a couple more. All right, I've got this is a gold page. Okay. Maple leaves. Oh, I don't want to paint on top of my towel. <laughs> I would have been really upset if I painted on top of that towel because I've been trying to keep it clean, you know, to clean up my surface. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, so now I've got the red and gold and orange again. This time the background is a little bit lighter in color. And I was going to spray with Tattered Angels on these, and I forgot. I think this is better, personally. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, thank you, Gusto, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, make sure that you create an account on my website and message me with your YouTube username and say, I donated during the live stream and I will get you added to my YouTube donator membership. Oh, I like the way that one turned out too. What do you think of that? Yeah, as Robin just said, if you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and you can share that with us. Say, hey, I've got a uh, better than Tattered Angels words. I, I didn't say it was, I thought this time it was better. <laughs> just this time. Okay. Alrighty then. What do I want to use? Oh me, oh my. Okay, so I've got 
these are the pages that I've made that have the oak leaf on it. Okay, which one should I cut up? <laughs> this is the, I like all of them. I like the way all these turned out. There's the oak leaf. And here's the ones I made earlier on the yellow. Okay. I'm torn. I don't want to use those yet. Okay, Kim. We'll see you in just a little bit. Yeah, but none your business. How funny, Kathy. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. All right, so if I'm going to make a... Oh, here. I forgot I had this. I have a big page. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to clean... Yep, I'm going to clean that maple stencil. Come on, get the paint off. None get cut up, Michelle says. That's what I'm saying too. I'm not cutting them up yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and uh, <laughs> scan them, <laughs> and then I can cut them up. All right. Okay. Clean my stencil again. All right. So this time, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay these on here. I can get it lined up just a little bit. Yeah, let's do something like that. And I'm going to tape them together if I get it dry enough. Okay. I need a little more red. Okay. So, so why do you have a silly uh, YouTube name? <laughs> How, what time of day do you watch YouTube the most? Do you watch, you know, late of an evening instead of watching television, you watch YouTube? Do you do it in the morning with your, your breakfast or your cup of coffee? Do you, do you get friends together and watch together? I think everybody has their preferred way. I know a lot of people that watch YouTube on their cell phones. I only watch pretty much on my computer. And my computer in this room is uh, attached to a large television. So I have a huge screen that I can play on. Sunday is your YouTube day. Thank you, Janice. The gold background is really cool, isn't it? All too pretty. Thank you, Janice. I think this will be good. I can cut this one up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to cut this one up. Okay, so now the big reveal. Here we go. So now we got a little bit on both sides of this, if you will. And it kind of looks like it's a forest, doesn't it, in the background with that brown? You love nights for YouTube, yeah? If you're crafting, you're watching. That's awesome. Oh, you you ordered the Periwinkle Tattered Angels. Yay, Lori. Oh, and the, and the Lace Duo stamp. You love all day because you can get notifications on your phone. Yeah?
Gotcha. When your husband's not home, you get to watch on the big screen. You like that? Oh, tell tell uh, tell Elsie that Linda is just got through making a leaf background, and she is cleaning off her tools. And then I'll be making some journal cards. Okay. And join the raffle. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to clean my... Made another little background type thing. Mornings with your coffee. Thank you, Mary. Wow, Raven. You won 60 junk bucks in the boss fight. Or... Er. FFA, I don't remember which one it is. <laughs> All right. There's a little bit of paint left on my palette here. So I'm just going to try to use some of that up. Because I can't let it go to waste. And I'm, I'm trying to formulate what kind of journal cards that I can make. I like that. It's got that gold in the background, so it's got a glimmer to it. Let's do another one. Henry stopped in for a moment. I know he's been busy. We've got a, a new employee at the shop that's been helping him out. And he still didn't get home till after 7 o'clock last night. <laughs> he was working late. Alright, so I'm going to put this aside. And let that dry. Let it dry. I'm going to clean my palette by sticking it in my water over here. Because I think I'm done with that portion of the acrylic painting. So, we got this page out and made that so I'm gonna dry it and I think I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look for some craft cardstock yeah that'll work I've got kind of a craft colored cardstock here and I think what I'll do is um we'll cut out the cardstock and then we will uh, cut up this piece. It may be dry. Almost. Not quite. I'm just going to cut this into four pieces. So cut it in half and cut it in half again the other way. So this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I just want an oversized journal card. So I just cut that in half and then I'm going to stack these and I'll cut them at four and a quarter. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Kathy, that it's not working. You may have to come out and get out and get back. Alrighty, so let's see how big this is. If I cut this at five inches. So that could go on here. All right, so they're going to cut this one at five inches. I'm cutting out the center port because it didn't get a lot of paint on it. It's not a lot, see? And then I'm going to cut these at... Do I want to cut them at four? Sometimes I have to look at it to see what is the best way. If I cut this at four inches, that's not enough. So three and three fourths. I don't do math, y'all. Yeah, that works, right? That's a nice frame on there. 
Oh, man, there's paint everywhere. Three and three and four. Something was still wet. All right, we'll cut this one. I'll have to clean my paper cutter. No, this is a book page. This is a book page, and I painted it. It was a it was a book page. And I use my new stencil to clean the paint off. Clean the paint off. Enter the raffle. All right. How long has it been since the last raffle? Okay, I think so. If I use these journal cards, they're kind of kind of blah. They kind of are brownish, blendy. We need more to it, so I'm gonna grab my distress ink pad and let's see what happens. If we go around the edges of the card, I'm going to be heavy handed and kind of come in just a little bit and messy. You know, I'm not trying to be precise. Okay, so we just kind of get a messy edge. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one as well. About six minutes. Okay, thank you. You have paint on your lap phone, your laptop. Yep, uh, it's everywhere. <laughs> so I, I wear an apron. Henry made an apron for me. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. So that already looks better, doesn't it? But it needs something else. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of these. Because I, I think I know what I want to do. We're going to do some rubber stamping. And I think we're going to do some embossing with it. We're going to use those uh, shabby stitches. Yeah, it looks like uh, fall leaves against the creek. I, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. That's why I used that, that blue in there. I thought it would be just kind of that fall day that you would see with the mists or water or, you know, the way the light hits things. Hey, Marie! Welcome, welcome, welcome! You got to the live. Good job. Now, I heard from a couple people today that uh, hadn't been to the lives because uh, like one of them, she had fallen and injured herself. I was like, oh my goodness. And another one, she's been out of town. So I was like, oh, well, welcome back home. All right, I'm going to go ahead and glue these to the card bases. I'm just going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue and go around the perimeter and kind of zigzag down the middle and then I'm going to place this somewhat in the center okay I'm just smoothing it out okay so there's the first one, and then we're going to just keep doing this. Yeah, those shabby stitches are fun, aren't they? Making sure I got those out, because I think what I'm going to do, I think we're going to do some embossing. So I'll get out some embossing powder. I just haven't decided yet if I'm going to do it in black or gold maybe 
We'll see. Ah, oh, thank you, Lori, for your order. Yay! I love how the maple leaf and the oak leaf turned out. And Sherry said she wanted one. I was like, okay, let me think about it. And I was trying to design it and see which way I wanted it to go. And it's like, okay, I figured it out. <laughs> And I like the way it looks. That's really cool. Okay. Don't start buffering now. Okay. So basically, all I'm doing right now is I've taken the mixed media page that I created and I've glued it down to a piece of craft colored cardstock so that I can make a journal card. So here's, here's so far what we've done, okay? You're in your part of New Jersey, it looks like canoeing on the Multic River. How cool is that? How cool is that? Alright, so I'm going to grab... I think I'm going to do it in black. I don't think I have copper. But I'll look real quick like... I have gold... I just don't think the gold will show up. So I'm going to get out the black. I'm also going to get out the perfect pouch. It's like perfect, sorry, perfect crafting pouch. And the reason why is because we did use acrylic paint. And if it's sticky at all, the embossing powder will stick to it. So if you use this little perfect crafting pouch and just kind of rub it over your page, there's a little powder in it, and it's going to stick wherever there might be something sticky. It'll also kind of cover up any oils that were on your fingers as well. And when you're done, you can just wipe it off again with a clean cloth. I've got a little cloth here, the perfect cleaning cloth. So when I'm done embossing, I'll wipe it off. Okay, so I'll just lay that right there. I've got black embossing powder here. So I'm going to grab a Versamark ink pad. I think I've got one here. That's my good one. Oh, here's one. I've got a Versamark ink pad that I'm using for my embossing stamp pad. And I'm just going to kind of push these out of the way for a moment. So I just have one. And we're going to ink up the stamp. And I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to do it closer to me. All the way across. And I'm going to do this all the way around. I'm going to try to work quickly. Versa Mark stays wet longer. So you don't have to work super, super fast. But you want to work quick enough that it doesn't dry out before we stick the powder on it. Okay, so I've just stamped all the way around four times. I've got a little spoon here and I'm dipping it into the embossing powder so I can put it onto the page. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tap off the excess, okay? And then we will heat emboss this. So I've got a heat tool here, okay? And it's going to heat up that powder. It's kind of like a... Oh, is it time for the raffle? Okay, so we're going to do the last raffle. And then we're going to start the raffle for the pri the grand prize today. So the, the heat makes this melt and it becomes raised and shiny. All right, is everybody in there to the raffle? Raffle! You like that? That's part of the shabby stitches. There's one of four in that set. Alright, we're going to do the 
raffles everybody in the raffle this is the last free raffle the next raffle that I start is for only those who have donated you will then get the chance to pick if you want the journal or if you want a subscription box from the So Artsy subscription or the um, Punked Out Steam subscription box. If you haven't donated and you want a chance, make a donation of any dollar amount before I say we're drawing for the grand prize winners. Yeah, you like the idea of, of embossing the shabby stitches? Alright, is everybody in the raffle? I see a couple more coming in. I like how this came out. I could also dip the edges of the card in the embossing powder um, to give a whole nother look as well. If you've got some of those distressed embossing powders, you could use those too. Okay, I'm almost done with embossing this one and then we'll do the raffle. And I'll go through the uh, names. So these people have donated Gusto, Lori Merchant, Mary Jones, Tiger Lily, Christy Johnson, Polly, Christy Johnson again, thank you for your donation, Jen B, Deborah Vick, Christy Clover, Janice Brammer, Elsie Bean, Robin Finnessy, Raven Patel, Christy Johnson again, thank you, thank you, Sherry Deskins, Kathy Lake, Kim Greenleaf, Carrie Ann, and Amanda Dawn. <clears throat> you want to see the dipped? Okay, I'll show the dipped. I'll show the dip. Are y'all ready? And this is a this is a, a lower watt uh, heat tool, so it takes me a little bit longer on embossing, but it's not as noisy as my other heat tool. So that's why I'm using it. It's great for paint. All right, so that's what it looks like. Can you see how shiny that is now with the stitches? Okay. All right, so let me do the raffle. Let's pick the winner. This person is getting the craft file folders. So we're going to pick the winner, and that winner is Jen B. Jen, you won. I'll put that in your box. <laughs> Congratulations, Jen. You won the craft file folders. Thank you so very much. All right, so we're going to reset it. Thank you so much, Marie, for your donation. So this is for journal or journal kit. All right, so we're gonna do the last giveaway. And you have the choice of if you want this little journal that I made, or if you want the one of the subscription boxes, you're just gonna get the box this month. You're not getting it every month, just this time. All right, so when you win, you'll let me know. All right, so those that have, have donated, enter the raffle. Now is the time, those who have donated. Okay, so uh, Robin said she wanted to see what it would look like with the edges dipped. And here's what I mean by dipped. What I do is I will take the Versa Mark and I'm going to rub it over the edge. And it's not consistent. It's just going over the edge just a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and dip it into the embossing powder. And I'm really tapping off any excess there. Okay. And then let's heat this up and you're going to see a difference. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to get out the gold and do it again. All right. That's what you did?
So it kind of gives it a little grungy effect. And what I can do is, I forget to do this sometimes, is where it's hot, I can dip it into the gold and it's going to have a gold look to it as well. It'll take a little longer. And you kind of dip it as you go. And you see how it's turning shiny? And you want to be careful and don't stick your finger in it because it can get very hot. You like that idea? Thank you. Yeah, great on Halloween cards too. Yes, I agree, Angelica. It's also if you use copper um, and black and gold together, you can kind of get a, a very vintagey look on an old, you know, project that you might be working on. You like that, Carrie Ann? So you still see a little bit of the black every once in a while, a little bit of the gold. I like that, that's coming together. I like the way it comes up, but I don't know, it's just a neat texture, but it'll still be flat. You know, it doesn't have that 3D texture on it that's going to make your journal bumpy. Pull it just a little. So that's what it looks like if you dip it. Thank you, Mary. So that's what it looks like. And then we did one where we stamped it. So that's why I chose the black over here because the gold, it shows up, but not a lot. And it wouldn't have shown up as stitches. So those are those two. So let's get rid of the embossing powder, gold embossing powder. And I think we're going to stamp, let's go ahead and stamp the rest of these cards here. Okay. And as soon as I got these stamped, we'll see what we can find as a saying or something for it. And finish these cards. Okay, that one's a little close to the edge, or inside I meant. Sometimes I get a little crazy when I stamp, it's okay. No two are alike, right? Oh, thank you Rita for your donation, thank you so very much. Make sure you enter the raffle. Today I'm giving you a chance you can pick a journal or you can pick a steampunk or so artsy subscription box a one-time box sent to you so there's your choices okay Okay, so now I'm going to emboss these. I'm going to get rid of the embossing powder. And I'm going to see if I can find some uh, 
little words to use on here maybe you love the shabby stitches thank you thank you Carrie Ann Put this up over here. This would be good. This is what you make it. Here we go. So I'm going through my black, white words on black inspirational words that I have in my shop. It says, expect great things. And this one says, don't overthink it. And this one says, life is what you make it. And this one is, live life in full color. And, okay, I see something else I can add to these. So we're going to emboss these, and then I'm going to, I think I've got some embellishments that I can grab. Raffle entered. Good job, Rita. All right, this one's almost done. Got another boss fight going. Okay, I think I got that one. Love the shabby stitches. I don't know if these will work or not, but maybe we'll do something with those. I think I have some rhinestones I can put on them. They may need to be a little bit darker. Thank you, Robin. I'm almost done with the embossing part. This is live, y'all. <laughs> Hey Danielle, welcome, welcome. I'm making a journal card. I did some mixed media using some acrylic paint and stencils. And then I stamped it with a rubber stamp and embossing powder. And so I am heating up the embossing powder. All right, so now that these are all done, I'm gonna take my little cloth and rub off that excess powder that we used earlier you want to make sure that your page is cool so that you don't smear your embossing okay all right so now i don't know if i want this or not but i've got a few of these little flowers and that may be too bright, so let's see what happens if I put it in a spray box. And let's spray a little bit. Where'd it go? I want orange. I'm going to spray some orange on it. I'm going to dry them just a moment. These are just some cheap silk flowers. I don't know if I want 
three or just one, you know, per, uh, that kind of got it a little bit lighter. You know what, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two of them and I'm gonna put the brighter yellow on the bottom. So it kind of peeks out just a little bit, but it's not so bright. I'm just trying to figure out how to lay it. Kind of off-center just a little bit. You're still in your PJs? You just died some fire on Oh, awesome! Yeah, as I was going to say, I'm going to grunge it up just a little bit more. I'm also going to grab um, some rhinestones. Let's see if I've got any. There's some big gems in here. Maybe these. Maybe those. Okay. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab one of the blending tools and the distress ink walnut stain let me see what happens it may not i may not like it i'm just gonna go over it just a little bit okay and then if i put that down so i'm just gonna glue it in place a little bit of glue there And then glue on top. I could put the words like that and not use the rhinestone. And then it would be flat. I think that's what I'm going to do. Bling alert! I may put a little bit of bling on there. We'll see. <laughs> Let's put it like that, maybe. Okay. Okay. Hold in place for a moment. And then let's see if these are. Oh, that one's not sticky. Where's the sticky ones? Are they sticky? Oh, I see. The sticky's still on the page. It's like a glue dot. Alright, let's see if it'll stick. Nope. Not going to stick, are you? Nope. All right. So this is where the best glue ever comes in. <laughs> when you've got flat back rhinestones that are no longer sticky, just put a little dop of the best glue ever and let it air dry for a little bit. And then we can stick that rhinestone on top. So I'm just kind of forcing that down. So we're going to put a rhinestone, one of these that is loose, on there in just a moment. Okay. What do you think? Maybe a bling lurk. <laughs> All right, so let's set that over here for a moment. And let's work on the next one. So we're going to do the same technique then. I've got one done. So I'm going to do one more. I should have done four when I put it in here, but I wasn't sure what it was going to like. You use glossy accents. Yeah, you can use glossy accents. That's another good one you can use. All right. So, we're going to take and go over these really fast. Just adding a little darkness to it. Adding a little darkness? That's kind of awkward, isn't it? I don't have a brown right off the bat. I may, maybe I can find a... Um, I got an idea. I'm going to go get something. Okay? I'm going to go get a button. That's what I'm going to get. I'll be back! Because my buttons are in a different spot. I don't think I have enough. No. Okay, let me go get some buttons. I'll be back! Talk amongst yourselves!
I got my tub on buttons. <clears throat> I got my I got my tub of buttons. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the cards together, assemble them, and then I'll dig for buttons. All right, so I'm just kind of flattening out the card a little bit. Okay, so I need three of these. One, two, and three. These can go back in the container and use for something else. Okay, and I need to put a little bit of distress ink on these flowers. Okay. All right, and then each one's a little different, but still similar. So I'm going to put glue in the corners here. Okay, and then I'm going to lay down the yellow flower. Get it in camera a little better. Okay. Now I put a little glue on top. Okay. Almost done, Angelica. I'm trying. I'm hurrying. And then we'll do the raffle. So if you haven't already entered the last raffle, those that have donated, get it done. Because we're getting it to the bottom. We're getting there. All right. So I'm going to put drops of glue like right about there about there okay set this over here out of the way I've got those all right so let's dig in my my tub of buckets buttons here come on now I should have got my hot glue gun out. All right, so here's my... Hey, Marge, how are you? Hello. What do we got here? I don't see a lot of brown buttons in here, but there's one that's kind of a brown. And there's kind of a brown button. So we got two. Let's see what else? kind of a, a brownie black button and let's find another dig in the buttons and that one's kind of a domed brown one okay so I got buttons now uh, Margie hey you still want to answer yourself A little hot glue gun so I'm gonna plug it in all right let's see if we can finish these bad boys up and I think what I can do wouldn't that look cute with the rhinestone in the middle of that that's what I think anyway and then that one can go on there these okay so they're gonna put these on here the different sayings okay yep all that that's just one container of buttons <laughs> that's what I was using for the subscription box I had that whole box that I was using all right, so now I'm just going to put a little glue on the back of the saying and place that down. And I'm going to grab an acrylic block to lay on there. Okay. And I'm waiting on my glue gun. When it's 
hot heated up, I'm going to pop a little bit of hot glue under there. Oh, that helps. It was laying on top of my... Okay, so we did that one. So then let's get another block. Oh, there you go. You're going to have the best conversation is the one with yourself. <laughs> You went to Hobby Lobby? Fun! Did you get some good stuff? Olive Garden and Hobby Lobby. Good stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're crying with no buttons? Well, that was the, the subscription box. You'll get buttons. I put some in there. Alright, so I'm going to put this on there. Weight it down. Do the next one. Eh. All right, so we are really. <laughs> All right, I think we're about ready. Is everybody in the raffle so we can draw? At least you listen to yourself. Exactly. It was good to get out for a bit. I'm glad, Margie. I'm glad. All right, I'm going to do this. Okay, let's see if the hot glue gun is hot. Oh, I hate it when the glue stick won't stay in. It's almost there. Come on. Yes! Yay, buttons! Yeah, you get a little bit in your subscription box. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little glue in the center and grab that gem to put in that button. Okay? And then we'll put that. I'm going to add a little bit extra glue on the hot glue side. So that when I put it on top of the wet glue, it will stick. So there's one. What do you think? Is that cute? Alrighty. Has everybody entered the raffle? Alright, make sure this is stuck down. I think we're going to put a gemstone on that one, too. What do I do with those? Oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. Make sure you enter the raffle. You get to pick if you want the journal, and I'll show it again. Or if you want the Punked Out Steam or the So Artsy subscription box. And that does not mean that we are canceling your subscription box if you have one. You're going to get a second box, okay? Or you can take the journal. All right, so now I'm going to put that on top of the glue there. Okay. I have a little extra paper towel. There. All right, so there's the next one. You see that? Don't overthink it. Okay, I'm gonna put a little glue here. Make sure this is down. Okay, got another button. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Punk box. I have a lot of new stencils in my shop now, so I hope that you check those out as well. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Come back and uh, leave a comment down below. Share this video with your friends if you think they could uh, find some enjoyment out of uh, watching my program today. 
Um, I greatly appreciate your support. I really do. I appreciate your thumbs up, your sharing the videos, the donations that you make. It, you know, when I get done, I'm smiling the whole time and my face hurts when I get done. <laughs> I'll be working on uh, subscription boxes for the rest of the day. Um, there was a couple people that placed some orders yesterday. Uh, so uh, there may be a little bit delayed on the rubber stamp side of it. If I have the stamps, then they'll go out, but I'll be working on those tonight and tomorrow. So if there's something you want me to add to your box, just uh, message me quickly because I will be boxing things up here this evening. Okay. You're very welcome. All right. Well, let's pick the winner and then you tell me uh, which one you want. Okay. Good target, Lily. There you go. Thank you, Robin, for sharing the stencils and uh, Angelica for yours as well. Oh, Dana, thank you for your donation. Now enter the raffle. You're in Ohio. We got all over the world, Mary. Everybody's all over the world. You're very welcome. All right, let's wait on to get entered into the raffle. You're very welcome, Tiger Lily. You ordered today. Whoop, whoop, Christy. Okay, I'll check it. Yeah, I am working on it for the rest of my life. You are correct, Angelica. <laughs> I'm always working on it. You're very welcome, Christy. Thank you. All right, I'm waiting on uh, Dana and Sandra. Did you get in the raffle? I see Sherry. So if you donated, enter the raffle. Okay. South Jersey, you think you're your own state, Polly says. Dana, enter the raffle. Type raffle. And Sandra L. Sandra, did you get uh, joined? I'm giving y'all a second or two. I'm going to drink some water here. I like the way these come out. You thought it was scrapbook paper. I made that. I made that. There's Janice. There's a little bit of um, bossy powder on the back side and wipe them off. Thank you, Angelica. All right. Dana, did you get in the raffle? Stop buffering. Okay. I like it. I did a couple of them with bling and a couple of them without. And uh, we'll offer those next next week. May, I may put them in the journal. I haven't decided yet. Okay. But everybody's buffering. Well, we're almost done. We're just waiting on the last person to enter the raffle. Then we can be off. <laughs> uh, stop buffering. Stupid YouTube. I agree. You want, you want me to go take a break and come right back? <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate uh, your support, like I said earlier. Monday, I'll be working with the Autumn Breeze kit. So, I'll be making a journal. That's why I made this type of cards to go with it. <laughs> Get in there and in the raffle. Linda, start the Hunger Games. I'm getting ready to. I'm waiting for. I was waiting for Dana to get entered, but maybe she's not or doesn't understand. So thank you so much for your donations. Thank you for your love. Uh, if you want a prize today, make sure that you go to my website and create a user account. Okay. You're very welcome, Lori. Suddenly, paper. Christy Johnson won 80 junk box. Good job. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to do the raffle. I waited long enough, I think. Okay. The winner is... Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Tiger Lily, you won. And I think you said you wanted the punked out steam kit. If you'll confirm that. And then if you will um, also uh, go through my website... I'll show you here. I said, I think it's a, first you need to create an account. And then Junkie Joe's going to share that account. 
And then you're going to want to use the contact me form and tell me that you're Tiger Lily, but this is your name on the user account on my website. Make sure your mailing address is in there, and then I will get that sent out to you. Tell me which one you want. Yes, yes, yes. Steampunk kit. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Woohoo. Great job. Great job. Well, thank you all for being here. Sorry we had some buffering here at the end. I appreciate you being here and giving me a thumbs up and sharing this video. You're very welcome, Christy. Thank you for being here. Congratulations, Tiger Lily. Woo woo. All righty. Well, I got to get off here and get to work. Work, work, work. You too, Kim. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming by. You're very welcome. Yay. Okay, perfect. Thanks for being here. Much love to everybody. And I'm going to get off here and go to work. Work, 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 work. Oh, we got a boss fight here at the end. We might as well get it. So y'all can win some junk bucks. You're very welcome, Angelica. And I know a couple of y'all have redeemed your coupon code. I'll get that sent out to you a little bit later. All righty, y'all. Y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you so very much. We're going to end the stream. Lots of love to you. Go play with your stencils. Yay! Bye, everybody.